In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the Dharva rock system, which belong to Arkham. Now today we will be discussing about Proterozoic formations of India, with special reference to Kadapa. Let me introduce you what is Proterozoic. It is one of the eons in the Earth history. The Purana formations, Puranas typically means old, is inconformable with the Proterozoic formations. These rock units are deposited on the Arkin basement. The Arkin basement was metamorphic and uh, little bit of igneous also made up of gneisses and schist. So during this, there was upliftment of tectonic movement in the Earth's history. The Arkin rock were overlain by the Proterozoic formations of India. The Arkin and the Proterozoic formations were differentiated by a prominent unconformity, which is known as Eparchian or the main unconformity. The period of Proterozoic is divided into three major portions Paleo Proterozoic, Meso Proterozoic, and Neo Proterozoic. The, uh, the age of Proterozoic eon is 2500 million years to 542 million years. The Proterozoic era began with the tectonic zonation of the Earth's surface into sedimentary basins. Now, what happened? Due to tectonism and the movement of the Earth crust, the Dharwar and the Arkin rocks were upheeled up, uh, up and uh, they were folded. Slowly, gradually, the erosional processes carried on and uh, the um, sediments were eroded and they were deposited into the basin formed by due to this tectonic forces. There was increase in oxygen concentration and decrease in the carbon dioxide concentration which led to the favorable conditions for the growth of the life. Now today we will discuss about the Kadapa system in brief in which lower Puranas. In the previous lecture we have discussed about the Dharva rock system which belong to Arkham. Now today we will be discussing about Proterozoic formations of India with special reference to Kadapa. Let me introduce you what is Proterozoic. It is one of the eon in the earth history. The Purana formations, Puranas typically means old, is inconformable with the Proterozoic formations. These rock units are deposited on the Arkin basement. The Arkin basement was metamorphic and uh, little bit of igneous also made up of gneisses and schist. So during this, there was upliftment of tectonic movement in the earth's history. The Arkin rock were overlain by the Proterozoic formations of India. The Arkin and the Proterozoic formations were differentiated by a prominent unconformity, which is known as Eparchian or the main unconformity. The period of Proterozoic is divided into three major portions Paleo Proterozoic, Meso Proterozoic, and Neo Proterozoic. The, Proterozoic uh, the age of Proterozoic eon is 2500 million years to 542 million years. The Proterozoic era began with the tectonic zonation of the Earth's surface into sedimentary basins. Now, what happened? Due to tectonism and the movement of the Earth crust, the Dharwar and the Arkin rocks were upheeled up, uh, up, uh, and uh, they were folded. Slowly, gradually, the erosional processes carried on and uh, the um, sediments were eroded and they were deposited into the basin formed by due to these tectonic forces. There was increase in oxygen concentration and decrease in the carbon dioxide concentration which led to the favorable conditions for the growth of the life. Now today we will discuss about the Kadapa system in brief in which lower Puranas. Hello everyone. Today we will be dealing with Purana group or Proterozoic Successions of India. Welcome to Geology with Saran. The Purana succession overlies the Arcan basement of the peninsula of India are relatively less complex structures. It coincides with the Proterozoic period of the Earth's geological history. It is separate from the underlying Arcan group by an unconformity which is known as Eparchian unconformity. It is also known as main unconformity. The closing of the Harvard period witnessed intense earth movements 
which folded the dharwars into mountain ranges and initiated tectonic zonation of the earth crust into sedimentary basins now what is, uh, was happening at the time the content the material the rock fragments and the rock particles and sediments from dharwars and archaeans were accumulated in these sedimentary basins right into these basins the eroded material from dharwar was accumulated forming rocks of purana successions consisting of sedimentary metamorphic and mixed type of rocks now the purana group of rock consists of two rock systems in india the kadappa and the vindhyans the kadappa system now in this lecture we will be only dealing with kadappas which comes under lower puranas in the previous lecture we will deal with vindhyans the rocks of kadappa are exposed in a large basin within the limits of andhra pradesh it is a crescent shaped with its convex side towards west and with a 450 km long concave eastern thrusted contact it lies over the peninsular gneiss and the linear greenstone belts of kadri gadwal and velingalu with a marked non conformity the sedimentary fills is largely arenaceous and argillaceous with subordinate calcareous and dolomitic components intruded by cells and basaltic flows calcareous precipitates dominates the kurnool group now this kadappa group is overlain by kurnool group right which is deposited in a basin temporarily and especially overlapping the kadappa supergroup now this is a succession which is showing the kadappa supergroup here you can see the archean gneiss complex there is a prominent unconformity which as i told you it's known as the parkian or the main unconformity the kadappa supergroup is divided into papagani group chitravati group which is also known as chediya group nallamalai group and kurnool group these are the formations of uh, papagani chitravati nallamala and kurnool i'll give you a shortcut which is a mnemonic to learn this kadappa system which is like papa chocolate nahi khate you you can learn that p papa for papaghani chdr for chocolate nala malai nahi and kurnool or you can say the kistna which is up above this nala malai by nahi khate right now you have formations which is gulcheru quartzite followed by vampali formation then in chitravati or chdr you have pulivendala quartzite tat patri formation gadikota quartzite then with a prominent unconform unconformity you have nalamalai which is made up of quartzite baron conda quartzite cumbium formation and sri sailam quartzite the papaghani and chidra and uh, chitravati or the chidra group is like papaghani was deposited during the late paleo proterozoic chitravati in meso proterozoic and the kistna in new proterozoic the kadappa rock includes shale slate quartzites and limestones with banded jaspers the rocks have been greatly metamorphosed and they are unfossiliferous the kadappa system consists of two units lower kadappa and upper kadappa the lower unit comprises of papaghani cheriar or chitravati series and the upper unit comprises of nalla malai and kistna series now this is a stratigraphic map of india this crescent shaped basin here in the southern peninsular region this crescent shaped basin is known as kadappa basin as you can see the elaborated map this is the basement gneiss complex then you have papaghani then you have chitravati then this yellow portion of the map is nalla malai and then you have kistna group above this this kadappa group is overlain by kurnool group this is a lithostratigraphy of kadappa basin which is which i already discussed this is a little bit more elaborated here you can see papaghani sorry papaghani chitravati nalla malai and sri sailam quartzite which is also known as kistna now here this is the elaborated form of 
the Skadapa Supergroup. Now we'll deal with each and every series one by one. First is Papaghani series. This series is named after the Papaghani River in whose valley the rock have been exposed. As you know that uh, all these names are little bit peculiar because they are generally in situ and they are origi uh, originated from where there are some locality like some tribal people live under that the name of the tribe or some uh, important hill station is there then with the name of that hill station or whatever thing which is famous over there these series and groups are named accordingly so it consists of gulcheru quartzite which rests over undulating denuded surface of archaeanesis the gulcheru quartzite is overlain by vampelli shales and limestones the series is intruded by magmas in the form of dikes and cirrus which has metamorphosed limestone into marble, serpentine and talc. Stromatolites have been also reported from these limestone by Prasad and Verma. Stromatolites are the algal fragments, they are the remnants of algal fragments and uh, they are biogenic fossils. Then we have Cheriar series. The rocks are well exposed in the valley of Cheriar and Pinar river and it comprises of 3300 meter thick succession of quartzites and shales. The series is divided into two formations, the lower polyvandalum quartzite which contains pebbles derived from underlying Papaghani series. The upper Tatpatri consists of slaty shales within thin beds of limestone, chert, jasper and intrusive cells. Followed by this we have Nalamalai series. This series occupies largest area of Kadapa and derives its name from the Nalamalai hills. The exposure is well developed in eastern part of Kadapa Basin. The series is divided into two formations. The lower one, which is known as Baranconda quartzites, which rest slightly unconfirmably on Cheriars. The upper formation, known as Cumulum Shales, occupies the synclinal trough of Kadapa rocks. It comprises of shales and slates of varying shades and color. They are intercalated with the bands of quartzites and limestones. This formation is very very important and it is very much rich in lead and copper deposits. The Nalamala is followed by Kistana or Krishna series. These rocks are exposed along the Krishna river cutting deep gorge in Krishna Nalamala plateau in the north of Kadapa. The series is divided into three formations. The lowermost is known as Irlakonda quartzite forming a plateau of the name consisting of 400 meter thick succession of massive bedded quartzites. The Irlakonda quartzites are overlain by 200 meter thick columnar shales named after the tributary of river Krishna. The columnar shales are overlain by Sri Sailam quartzite forming higher plateau region of well known temple of Sri Sailam overlooking the Krishna river. Now the economic importance of Kadappa. The Kadappa is very important from the mineral point of view for India as it have a good yields of uranium phosphates, baritis, ornamental stones such as jasper, chert, lead, zinc deposits. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.